What's up, guys? Pet Man here, Carolina the Varsity. Taking a look at this week two matchup uh, rival game between uh, the Huff Huskies going up, oh, and, well, up and over <laughs> to Mooresville to play the uh, Blue Devils, I believe, is their mascot. Uh, Huff last week won 54 to 6 over Harding. Uh, defense played very well, first, forced five first half turnovers and held Harding to 27 yards passing. Uh, very impressive. While Mooresville struggled in a loss um, at West Rowan, uh, Marty Paxton is the new Mooresville coach. And, um, you know, they got to get that offense going. And it's going to be tough sledding this week because the Huff defense obviously is playing really well. I think the key for Huff here is um, obviously I think you got to emulate what you did last week. Um, Paxton over at Hickory Ridge where he came from ran more of an option type of offense. And um, anytime you, you see the option type of stuff, you got to, you know, be really, really good on your assignments. Who's got quarterback, who's got pitch, who's got dive, you know, all those things. Um, you know, Harding, uh, excuse me, Huff faced a run first offense in Harding. Uh, so I think you're going to see a similar type of game plan on the defensive side of the ball. I read one of uh, Coach Aldridge's quotes uh, after the Harding game. He said he wanted to uh, – Turn them over on defense, be good in the kicking game, and uh, be opportunistic on offense. And um, I think for any game, those are, are great keys right there. Uh, for Mooresville, um, they got Jackson Gibbs at quarterback, um, but they also have Nagy and uh, Williams in the backfield. So you got to pick your poison. What are you going to shut down? And like I've said in some of these other videos, I think you got to stop the run first. But, I mean, hell, Gibbs is so talented. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of a, a catch-22 here. Um, and it's a dual threat in the backfield. And even a Nagy can get the tough yards and Williams can uh, hit the home run on you. So um, Huff is a very good football team. I think for Mooresville, they got to find a way to, um, number one, get get hyped up for this game, being a rival game. And number two, they got to find a way to keep it close um, in the second half. If they're in this game, I think they're going to have a big crowd. And that's gonna that crowd can kind of get behind them and kind of push them uh, to to be in this game and possibly win it at the end. I think that's got that's gonna be the way Morrisville wins the game. Their defense is really gonna have to step up. They didn't give up a lot to West Rowan last week, so um, ball, obviously Paxton's about ball control, ball control offense. Defense is gonna have to shut Huff down uh, in order to try to pull the upset here. Uh, but should be a, a nice crowd here at this game. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you stay healthy and play safe.